Atlantis is off limits. So was my father. Allow me to welcome you properly. Ready to yield? Your family will pay. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Leo Jaguar Shiokodo, right? And today is going to be a pretty special video, all right? Today, we're going to do my first uh, big unboxing for a large statue. For a, This is a sideshow. It's a Prime One, studio, uh, Prime One Studio, and this is the Black Manta, all right? Now, as most of you guys have been following my channel, you guys know I'm a big Black Manta fan, like... DBs, all right, and um, man, I'm so sweaty right now from bringing this thing upstairs because this thing's like way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. All right, so I popped open the top, and this is how it looks when it's being packaged in there. We're gonna take that out. We're gonna save those. All right, so this is what the art box looks. This thing looks freaking sick, man. All right, premium master line. So this looks amazing. I'm ready to dig up in here. Ready to dig up in here. <laughs>
All right, uh, so you guys got to see the unboxing that I did for it, uh, the assembly and stuff. Uh, some of the stuff that gave me the trouble a little bit, as you probably saw in the video, was this putting in this water thing. I know I'm like totally new to statues, so uh, this might be common knowledge. But uh, for me, it, I had to kind of like lift the statue a little bit so I could be able to insert it underneath the groove so it would like fall into the slot. Um, but, you know, it wasn't too difficult. I really loved putting all this together. Everything was fairly easy. It was a lot more pieces than I thought. And uh, I got to say, like, my, my impressions of this, man, it was just, damn, dude. Like, I'm super, super impressed. It's way, way, way bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Initially, as you guys probably see the Aquaman in back here, I thought it was going to be, like, a twice the size of that Aquaman. Maybe a little bit, bit more than tw uh, twice the size, but damn, this thing is way way bigger and just for a comparison I'm gonna bring this Aquaman this is a diamond select Aquaman and this guy's a little midget next to uh, ne next to David over here um, and yeah man and I can see I can definitely see the um, the attraction of these statues now these things are so impressive just to look at them and just admire the detail in them and stuff and it is i thought it was going to be a third scale statue but it is a quarter scale statue but damn dude this thing's so big it's so big like i was thinking about getting the um the uh, like i thought about it i'm not going to but it's going to be the third scale mira damn dude that one's probably almost life-size dude but this is definitely really cool man um other things with the assembly nothing else the only other thing I did struggle with was this manta tail right here you guys probably see it right here that um, I actually had to go dig through the box it was such a little piece that it was wrapped into the tissue so I had almost like thought through it out man you know I'm not gonna throw out all the packaging because I eventually we will move so I am uh, gonna be taking this with me definitely and uh, so definitely not throwing away my box and my packaging and yeah, the Manta looks like super slick, the rock looks slick, everything just looks amazing. The shark, I mean, just looking at it from the size and, and the way it's shaped, it looks like a Caribbean reefer, uh, reef shark, but I'm not a shark expert, but it's definitely not a great white or a tiger or anything like that, but still, uh, just judging from the size, it's still very cool shark, man, very cool. I love the gloss on it, just makes it look wet. Um, this, the statue itself was pretty easy to mount onto the base. I really love the magnetic things up here. That you can, it's very easy to pull them apart and put them back in there. I thought that was really cool. The gloves, the gloves look nice. Um, it looks a little like padded and stuff. And then you got the steel, really amazing. Uh, it takes two AAA batteries for the helmet. Uh, if, if you guys want to see the light up. The light up button is located right behind the helmet right here just like two squares hit it and black mantas lasers fire he is amazing dude very very cool and I kind of like this water at first I was kind of unsure how this water thing was kind of like the falling off this thing but now that I'm kind of looking at it and taking a, a lot closer look to this I, I kind of dig it now I really love it now uh, I love the jetpack and stuff. Of course, uh, this is the exclusive, so this does, did come with an extra head. You guys probably see this right here. It's an extra head. Uh, very nice. I love this. It's not the... It doesn't light up. Um, so, that's a little bit disappointing. But also, like for those of you that like the the helmets from the Injustice 2 I that he has like so many different armors you can buy on the video game I thought that was like an amazing video game and I thought this was a great take on Black Manta this is like the modern uh, Black Manta look but it's not the movie version the movie version he's more armored a little bit bulkier whereas this guy's just wearing the wetsuit and it, it's very much like the Ivan Ray's new 52 uh, uh, Black Manta which is my opinion probably the best version of Black Manta I have the book here uh, this is brightest day volume one this is given to me in AOK -okay by geeks and uh, and I want to show you guys the art that inspired uh, Black Manta first of all 
you know, in this comic, it was perceived that, you know, Aquaman was dead, and then he came back from, from the dead. I think there was, like, an imposter running around for a while. So when, uh, when David, Black Manta, found out, you know, he was working at this fish market, and he lost his shit and just killed everybody. Killed all the customers, all the co-workers, all the employees, when he found out that the real Aquaman was back. But I'm going to show you guys the one I wanted to show you was, first of all, this is a great panel sequence right here. You see David just kind of going back into the ocean and then you just hear like bloop bloop and the red red lights light up. And then on the final page, you have this great freaking splash page right here. And this is the what I believe was what inspired the the statue like that isn't official but like that definitely you can really see the similarities from here and this is by Ivan Reyes so um, I thought that was pretty neat uh, I was able to go pick this up at UPS uh, they usually have a late night draw uh, pickup from like 8 to 9 at the local hub and uh, I was pretty glad that I was able to pick this up like this thing I had struggled this to put inside my truck uh, and I have I have a small truck uh, like a Nissan Frontier and it's got like small it's not it's not a big truck and this thing like I had to like kind of like magician it into it to fit in there I love the octopus I just love this the whole dynamic and stuff and how defined this character really is so honestly it's a lot bigger way bigger than I thought it was gonna be but I'm definitely definitely impressed and I really love this piece I really gotta love a character for me to uh, you know buy into a statue and and with this one no regrets at all whatsoever I don't have the tape measure to do the uh, the whole gent mint thing that he does uh, like I said I'm a rookie here and this is but you know a product to the product size is roughly around 31 inches tall the width is 15 uh, depth is also roughly about 15 and um, this is coming in from this is made in China but you know I really love the quality of these things um, uh, yeah it's limited to 150 and then the collector's edition was limited to 200 okay so I think I said that backwards before I feel like the collector's edition is the one that should have like this or extra one and then the other one should be like the regular version but you know they got collectors and exclusive all right, so I'm very, very happy with this. I love this, and uh, I'm really happy to be able to share with with you guys. Uh, I've been waiting for this for a very long time. Uh, I knew for me it was a goal to get a statue, um, and there was like some statues I had in mind: the sideshow Catwoman, uh, the the Art Germ uh, Supergirl. I was like, those I love those, I love those. But I was like, if I'm gonna get a statue, I'm gonna get some a character I really love, and. Uh, and it was definitely this one when I saw this one it was de definitely this one they got another one it's a third scale but it's based on the movie version and I love this one way better I think this one's way better and uh, and also it costs less as well as the other one so yeah man long time coming I'm super happy I need to find a place to display this guy I don't know I what do you guys suggest for me to display this guy he may have to get his own little pedestal or Bethesda or his own little shelf or something because uh, I, I, I need to clear this table for for other stuff <laughs> uh, but yeah like I said thank you guys for watching and, um, and, and, and letting me share this with you and uh, with that being said I'll see you guys next time on Jaguar Shield Quota